Hi, this is Jim, and I'll be taking you through the November 2023 MES and MV2 release notes. This release has a few new enhancements. One of the new features is the ability to configure whether time and attendance is enabled or disabled in the application. This setting can be found in App Admin under Workforce Management, as seen in the following screenshot. We've also enhanced the application to use an asynchronous method for sending notification emails. This will prevent performance issues when attempting to send a notification when accidentally having incorrect SMTP settings. We've updated multi-select mode to disallow multi-select of nests and Kanban orders and job off only and job on optional job off only work centers. Another update we did is that we added the ability to configure whether to allow the reference field to be shown in the WIP issue material grid. Uh, this will allow for entering a reference for items. The configuration setting and the touchscreen display can be seen in the following two screenshots. And finally, we continued to enhance the application with several new API endpoints. Other than these enhancements, there was also a short list of minor defects that were fixed in this release. So that's our update for today. If you have any questions, please reach out to us through the contact information below.